One to go up top, dumps it off across the middle, Fournette. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and if you watched my video yesterday, awesome. I'm happy about that because I was a little goofy in that one. I had a lot of fun. If you haven't checked that out, I go over if Jaguar players took over the WrestleMania card. Uh, that should be my most recent video if you go over onto the channel. But today we're getting a little bit more serious again and talking about the NFL Draft, ladies and gentlemen. And today I'm going to be telling you about the biggest sleeper in this year's NFL Draft. A guy that probably will not go until day three, but he has day one talent, ladies and gentlemen. I've seen this guy play all four years at his university because it's right down the way at University of Idaho, the Big Sky School. Now, I know what you're thinking. Treeb, he went to the Big Sky. That's the FCS. Well, Idaho was in the Sun Belt for a while, which is Division One, and they didn't necessarily dominate, but they always had one player on their team that would constantly, constantly dominate, and that was linebacker slash pass rusher slash tight end, Caden Ellis, ladies and gentlemen. And today, you guys are going to get to know Caden Ellis a little bit more and why Caden Ellis is this year's biggest sleeper in the NFL draft. Now, I know what you're thinking, ladies and gentlemen. You're thinking, Treeb, of course you think, of course you think that Caden Ellis is the biggest sleeper in this year's draft. Hell, you're from the area. You probably have to say this. No, ladies and gentlemen, it's not just me that thinks this. Let's go over a couple of tweets here. Pro Football Focus Jordan says, Ellis has played inside linebacker, Sam linebacker, Buck linebacker, and tight end. He's one of the more versatile players in this draft. And Rob Rang, who is a trusted NFL scout since 2001, he's a draft analyst as well. Following WSU workout this morning, I was very impressed this afternoon by Idaho linebacker slash tight end. Caden Ellis. He measured at 6'2", 238, with a 40-yard dash, times ranging from 4.62 to 4.65 on the first attempt, a 34.5-inch vertical, fluid in his drops, and a natural catcher of the ball. And Colton Clark, who is the beat writer for the Idaho Vandals for the Lewiston Tribune, here are the teams that were at the Pro Day. Oakland, Jacksonville, hence the reason why I'm talking about this. New York Giants, Denver, Miami, New Orleans, Seattle, Cleveland, and Baltimore. So ladies and gentlemen, it is not just me that has this thought that Caden Ellis could be a star in the NFL. It's all these analysts as well. As well as NFL teams, Caden Ellis is actually scheduled to meet with six NFL teams following his excellent excellent pro day and ladies and gentlemen let's just go over his numbers real quick his height 6'2 I already said that 238 he only benched uh, 20 reps of 225 which is below the average but trust me that is the only combine stat that is below average uh, at a linebacker position from Caden Ellis his vertical 34.5 his broad jump 10 feet a 4.59 40 yard dash that is incredible that is a great 40 time for an outside linebacker uh, pass rusher. His wingspan 79.5. He has 10.5 hands, bro. A 6.63 cone, a 4.06 20-yard shuttle, and 11.1 60-yard shuttle. Caden Ellis dominated his pro day, and uh, he had to go to Utah at first to do his pro day. He ended up coming back you know, to Idaho to do some more stuff. But he had to go to Utah to do a pro day because he didn't get invited to any all-star games. He didn't get invited to the NFL Combine. But this guy has the grit to determination to work and work hard. Caden Ellis is a hard worker, which is another reason why he could be the biggest sleeper in this year's NFL Draft. Now, if you don't want to trust the words of draft analysts, beat writers, and even NFL scouts, if that's not convincing you enough, and his pro day numbers are also not convincing you enough, you're still sitting there saying, Treve, if he didn't get invited to the combine, he's not worth it. The Jags always draft guys from small schools, and they never pan out all this and all that. Maybe his stats 
will change your mind. He racked up 289 tackles during his time at Idaho, which is 11th all-time in Idaho history. 44 tackles for a loss. He averaged at least a tackle for a loss every game in his career. He has 16 sacks and in 4 interceptions. This guy was a leader on the field as well as off the field. You know, in small schools, you only get however many options to do interviews with. Caden Ellis was always that guy on the platform. This was a guy that everybody on the team looked for as a leader. Everybody in the media knew he was a leader, and even Caden Ellis knows himself he's a leader. Very stand-up guy, knows how to lead a team, knows how to be motivational as well. So this guy has a leadership quality that bring that is brought to the table as well, along with these great stats, along with these good pro day numbers. Caden Ellis is slept on big time, and this guy can change the fortune of some NFL team. You know, he's not being looked at tremendously due to the college he was going to and the fact that he didn't get invited to the NFL Combine. But all jokes aside, if none of that happened, if he had an opportunity to go to an All-Star game, if he had the opportunity to go to the NFL Combine, do I think that he would be uh, more of a day one, day two pick? I really do. I don't think he'd be a day three pick if he got invited to these All-Star games or to this or to the NFL Combine. I think Caden Ellis would be significantly less slept on. I think he'll be, he'd will be he been talked about as one of the better outside linebacker pass rushers, as well as the fact that this guy's a natural catcher of the ball as well. He played both ways at the University of Idaho. This guy was a do-it-all player. He played tight end as well, and he has humongous, humongous hands as we discussed earlier and the Jags are also looking for a tight end so you know bringing in Caden Ellis maybe to play some tight end in the later rounds would not necessarily be a bad idea either but this guy is versatile he has great stats he put up great numbers on his pro day but you guys I am for certain have not heard of Caden Ellis and that's why I made this video today was to get you more informed on Mr. Caden Ellis. Now finally for a question that I'm sure all my subscribers want to hear the answer to and that is should the Jacksonville Jaguars take a chance on Caden Ellis on day three? My answer is an absolute yes. I've played some highlights over this video so hopefully you've had an opportunity to kind of get to know Caden Ellis and see what he is capable of but if what I put on this video doesn't do it justice what you guys need to do is you need to go out you need to google either Caden Ellis highlights or you need to go to his huddle page or something because Caden Ellis is a sight to behold. He's a perfect size for an outside linebacker. He's a perfect size for a tight end. He has all the intangibles. The only thing holding him back is the talent that he played in in the big sky and at an FCS level. But let me tell you something that you may not know, and that is that the big sky is probably the toughest division in the FCS, and Caden Ellis participated in that, and he dominated. Big Sky coaches, every time he played, were like, this is the best guy on the field. This is might be the best player I've seen in the conference in the last 20 years. And, you know, a lot of these coaches have been in the Big Sky game for a long time long time. This big sky tradition of hard-nosed, hard-hitting football players has been a tradition for a long time. As long as the big sky has been around, hard-nosed tackling great defensive players have been known with the big sky. Caden Ellis, no different. He's going to go down as one of the best Idaho Vandal players of all time. Maybe one of the best big sky players of all time as well. He was stuck on not so good of a team because they had quarterback issues. Their offense could not get the job done, but that did not really affect the defense necessarily. It may have affected the defense overall wasn't terrific, but it did not affect Caden Ellis's play overall. He was still out there no matter what. If the score was close or if they were losing 63-0, to zero, like in the Florida game where he racked up 10 tackles and 2 tackles for a loss, this guy is playing hard all the time and he has a high motor on him. He reminds me a lot of a guy guy that the Dallas Cowboys drafted out of Riggins, Idaho by a name of Leighton Van Der Esch. I know the size is a lot different and Van Der Esch is more of a true middle linebacker, but the skill set, how versatile they are and how they came from, you know, a small area is very, very comparable. They're both tremendously hard workers. They're both linebackers, clearly, and they both play hard no matter what, no matter if they're losing by 60 or winning by 60. These guys have really, really good work ethic. 
pick, and that is what you look for in a player these days in the NFL, especially coming out of college, is how good are these kids' work ethics. Because if you don't look at work ethic, you end up in a situation where you're drafting like a Johnny Manziel, or you're drafting like a Leonard Fournette, who, you know, though he's a good player, he's not necessarily that mature, so you can't really rely on him all the time, but Kate Nellis is a guy, he had, he, I don't think he's ever gotten hurt in his career at Idaho, he's a healthy guy, he has a great work ethic, he has great stats to back it up, a tremendous, tremendous pro day as well, and that just leaves me to ask, why wouldn't the Jacksonville Jaguars try to snag him up in day three, or maybe even in day two, when this kid has all the talent in the world, and has the highest, highest ceiling in the entire world, the Jaguars should, without a doubt, draft the biggest sleeper in this year's NFL draft in Caden Ellis. And that was Meet the Biggest Sleeper in this year's NFL Draft. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you can check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody outworking me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.